so today I'm gonna be teaching you how to use the K212 CRSV8 2022 edition so from setup sheet just click start button starting let's go to home sheet activating navigation controls students information grade consolidation permanent record Armando Cell D so take 2 click on the items you want to process Okay, initially, in-open ang ating system ang mga navigation controls, students info, grade consolidation, and permanent record. So, ito sila. Pwede natin i-close. And kung gusto nyo i-open ulit, i-click nyo lang ang button. Example, number one, students info. Students information. Okay, dito tayo mag-start. So, gagawin natin ang SF1. Click SF1. SF1. Then, may makikita kayong mga sample data. Pwede nyo i-delete. Click delete all. Delete all data. Then, click yes. Deleting all data in SF1. So, instead na mag-type ng information, kasi madami yun, meron tayong mas mabilis na paraan. I-extract natin ang SF1 data. Okay? So, i-download nyo ang LIS. Then, pag na-open nyo siya, Pumunta kayo sa A5. Ito yun. So, from LRN A5, pumunta kayo sa kanan hanggang remarks. Then, go down para makapture nyo lahat ang mga students. Hanggang last student. Then, control C. As in, copy. Tapos, balikan ng SF1. Then, i-click ang button na extract LIS. Click. Then, click yes. Transferring data. Checking date of birth. Divide the names into four columns. Finished. Okay, so within 30 seconds, meron na kagad kayo na SF1 data. Okay, next thing to do is to give this data to our subject teachers. So, kung kayo ang advisor, i-click nyo ang uh, Create Advisors SF1 Code. Click. Generating SF1 Code. Send the SF1 Code to all subject teachers. Then, step number 2, pumunta sa Messenger at i-paste. Control V. Then, hit Enter. Okay, so makikita nyo dito na nag-send kayo ng SF1 code or SF1 text string sa ating mga subject teachers. Okay, halimbawa, kayo na yung subject teacher and then gusto nyo nang pumunta dito lahat ng data. So, bubuksan nyo same software, ito din yun, then mag start muna kayo by deleting all data. Delete. Delete all data. Then click yes. Deleting all data in SF1. Okay, para sa lahat ng mga subject teachers, ganito ang inyong gagawin. Mag-start muna kayo sa clear. Wala mo ng laman. Then, pumunta sa messenger at kuhanin yung message ng text string. Ano? So, umpisa doon sa simula, sa taas. Start of text string, SF1. I-highlight nyo yan pababa hanggang ilalim. Hanggang makuha nyo lahat hanggang doon sa end of text string. Then, control C as in copy. Balikan ng software. At dito sa taas, SF1 code from advisor dito sa yellow. I-paste. Control V. And then, hit enter. Then, ito yung sasabihin ng system. Verifying SF1 code. Verification of SF1 code is complete. Preparing list of subjects. Updating profile information. Extracting SF1 information. Finish extracting SF1 code. Okay, so within 30 seconds, makukuha nyo kaagad ang same information na manggagaling sa ating mga advisors. So, napakagandang technology. Now, next is, ikiklik nyo ang view class record para makita nyo kaagad ang class record natin. Click. View class record. 
Okay, ang unti tingnan nyo lang dito yung mga pangalan nila kung pumunta dyan. So, from SF1, dapat ma-deliver ang inyong mga pangalan nandito na kalaga. Okay, next item is School Profile. Click. School Profile. You will edit the region, division, district, school ID, school name, school address, school year, curriculum, and then choose your grade level from grade 1 up to grade 12. Example, grade 7. Grade 7. Then type the name of your section. Example, Bonifacio. Then choose your name as the subject teacher or advisor. Example, Sir Dave. Then type your designation. Teacher 1, Teacher 2, Teacher 3, Master Teacher 1, Master Teacher 2. Then type the name of your school head and her designation. And then the beginning of school year date and end of school year date. Okay, next item, subjects and percentages. Click. Subjects and percentages. So we have here all the subjects that will appear on your class card. Kung meron pa kayong elective subjects, itype nyo lang dito sa available slots. We have the percentages, WW, PT, and QA. Next item is number of quarters. Click. Number of quarters. So if you are in grade 1, Filipino, you will change number 4 to 3. Dito. And then if you are in grade 1 also, you will change English to 2. Okay? But if you are in higher grade level, you will change them all to 4. Okay. The next item, senior high school subjects. Senior high school subjects. So these are the subject title. Then you can change this subject type core applied and specialized. So go to the right. Then makikita nyo dito yung second semester subject title. Type nyo lang dito. Then choose core applied and specialized. So there you have it. Yung students information. Pag natapos nyo na lahat yan, pwede na kayo mag-proceed. Okay, we will now process grade consolidation. Grade consolidation. We will use class record to produce our grades. Class record. In our class record, we will input all the highest possible scores for the written work, performance task, and quarterly assessment using these yellow colored cells. And we will input all the raw scores for our students. Example. Okay, so we have the initial grade and it will be transmuted to our quarterly grades. Our examples are 89, 77, 79, 87, and 77. All those data came from English first grading and we will transfer all those grades to our grading sheet. Grading sheet. So as you can see, we have the grade from English. So we are going to select English. English. Uh, 89, 77, 79, and 87. And for this data to be transferred to our advisor, we will click Copy Grade Code. Copying Grade Code of English, Grade 7 Bonifacio. And we will send this grade code using Messenger, Control V. Okay, so it is meant to reach our advisor. In grade consolidation, we have the rating sheet. Rating sheet. Okay, so the role of the advisor is to consolidate grades coming from different subject teachers. Filipino, English, Mathematics, Science, Araling Panlipunan, ESP, TLE, Music Arts, PN Health. Now, we have an ingenious way on how to consolidate the grades. We will just copy the grade code from the messenger control c and then go back to our software then go to grade code extractor then paste control v then press enter english grade code has been successfully extracted okay as you can see we have the grades 89 77 79 87 and all the way down 
So grade code extractor is capable of automatically locating the subjects. It is the most accurate and fastest way of consolidating grades. So let us try another subject. Let's go to grading sheet. Grading sheet. Then choose another subject. Araling panlipunan. Araling panlipunan. Then copy the grade code. Copying grade code of Araling panlipunan. Grade 9 water. Okay, send it to the advisor. Control V. And then the advisor will copy the grade code. Highlight. Copy. Control C. And she will go to the software, specifically on grade code extractor, and then she will paste it. Control V, then enter. Erling Panlipunan. Grade code has been successfully extracted. Okay, another sample. Grading sheet. Grading sheet. Let's move on to arts. Arts. And then click copy grade code. Copying grade code of arts. Grade 9 water. Okay, let's forward the grade code to the advisor. Control V. Enter. And then the advisor will copy the grade code of arts. Highlight, then Control C copy. And then let us paste it on grade code extractor. Control V. Enter. Arts. Grade code has been successfully extracted. Okay, so as you can see, it is accurate. And very fast. Creating card as of 9. After consolidating all the grades, we can now go to SF9 inside. SF9 inside. As you can see, we have all the grade data for the first quarter of student number 1. So if you want to change the grade data, just click student number 2. Al Guzer, Angelito Cutter. Or select student number 3. A lot. Aaron John Olin Olin. Down to the last student. Santos, Justine Faye Adjuro. If you want to hide the final grade, remove the check mark. And also the remarks. If you want to edit observed values, Click this button. Edit observed values. You may change the value from AO, SO, RO, and NO. Go back to card inside. If you want to edit modality, click this button. Edit modality. You can change the modality from online, modular, full print, and blended. Go back to card inside. Then go to card front. SF9 front. SF9 front. If you want to edit attendance sheet, click this button. Edit attendance sheet. You will set the calendar days and you will input all the SF2 totals. Go back to card front. You can add QR code. Creating QR code. Or you may remove the QR code. Removing QR code. You can select the data of student number one or student number two. Or student number three and finally if you want to create the PDF card just click this button create PDF then click yes creating SF9 PDF publishing finished so this is your PDF file double click it you have two pages, page 1 and page 2. You can print this or you can send this to the parents 
by using messenger okay let us have a sample attach a file and then double click the PDF file then send it okay this is an example of paperless card showing so the parents can view the card on their cell phones now if you want to create cards PDF for the whole section just click this button then click yes creating 38 PDF one two okay you can double tick the folder three so that we can see the activity four five thirty seven thirty eight finished on thirty eight sf nine pdf files okay so this is the folder for your whole section now let's move on to permanent record permanent record since we are already finished with sf1 and sf9 we will add some information on eligibility eligibility so we have columns for elementary and we have columns for junior high school and senior high school so just fill out the necessary information next item is scholastic record scholastic record so we have columns for grade 1 up to grade 6 and we have columns for grade 7 up to grade 10 and we have columns for grades 11 and 12 All data in this worksheet will be reflected on SF10. SF10 Elementary. SF10 Junior High School. SF10 Grade 11. SF10 Grade 12. SF10 Elementary. So copying large amount of information from card SF9 to SF10 is a tedious job. So we invented an ingenious solution. And this is card code generation and extraction. Okay, let us begin. SF9 front. Let us go to SF9 front, then let us choose grade 1. Grade 1. Now to generate the card code, just click copy card code. Copying card code. And then paste it on card code extractor, control V. Then enter. Grade 1 card code of AGOS, Romual Rain Colidia, has been successfully extracted. Okay, as you can see, all the grade data from SF9 is completely copied instantly to SF10. Now, let us make another example. SF9 front. Let us go to SF9 front, then select grade 7. Grade 7. Let us click copy card code. Copying card code. And then paste it to card code extractor, control V. Okay, as you can see, the grade level is written on the code. It serves as the address that triggers the extractor to deliver the data on a specific location. Grade 7 card code of AGOS Romual Rain Colidia has been successfully extracted. Okay, let us do another example. SF9 front. Let's choose grade 11. Grade 11. And click copy card code. Copying card code. Then paste it on card code extractor, control V. Then enter. Grade 11 card code of a ghost, Romual Rain Colidia, has been successfully extracted. So you see, 
this software demonstrates artificial intelligence because it can instantly decide where to put the correct data, thereby showing high level of accuracy. It will shorten the time needed in the preparation of SF9, SF10, and reading of forms. SF9 front. So the secret to this wonderful software is the code generation and code extraction. Another feature of this software is color coding of grades. Let us go to rating sheet. Rating sheet. Then click color button. Color coding of grades. As you can see, grades are now color coded. Yellow means with highest honor. Blue means with high honor. Green means with honor. And grades without color are passing grades. And red means failed. You can remove the color coding by clicking on color button. Removing grade color. Let us go to SF9 inside. SF9 inside. And it is also applicable in this area. Click color. Color coding of grades. We can also go to SF10. Permanent record. SF10 elementary. SF10 junior high school. SF10 grade 11. SF10 grade 12. SF10 elementary. To remove all the colors, just click on color. Remove color coding. Another important feature of this software is data tracing. For example, in your card, you discovered that one of your students, student number 13, has a failing grade in English fourth grading. Okay? All you have to do is to select the subject English, English, and then the grading period fourth grading. Fourth quarter. Okay, as you can see, our system will color the English and the 74 for the fourth grading. So all you have to do is click locate data in rating sheet. Locate data in rating sheet. 74. And you will arrive at the exact location instantly. Another promising feature of this software is the creation of QR code. Creating QR code. This QR code already has the grade code in it and can be scanned repeatedly using your cell phone. I am now holding my cell phone and I will scan. As you can see, our system is typing the grade code and the data will be extracted in 15 seconds. So this is very useful if you want to get the data from hard copies. English. Grade code has been successfully extracted. Grading sheet. Let's try another one. Science. Science. Updating the QR code. Okay, place the cursor and grade code extractor and then scan. and wait for 15 seconds. Science. Grade code has been successfully extracted. QR code extraction can also be used in creating the SF10. We can create the QR code in just one click. Creating QR code. And we will just scan the QR code using our cell phones. And we will wait for 30 seconds. So this is very useful if you want to capture all the grade data of all the grade levels of a particular student. Provided that all the SF9s has all QR code printed on it. Grade 3 card code of AGOS Romual Rain Colodia has been successfully extracted. Okay, let us make another example. Go to SF9 SF9 front. front. 
then choose another grade level for example grade 2 grade 2 okay let us create QR code creating QR code and then let us scan the QR code and wait for 30 seconds if you have six cards you can finish them all in just uh, three to four minutes grade two card code of agos ronal rain colony has been successfully extracted we will now create sf10 pdf for the whole section Click this button. Save as F10 PDF section. And then click yes. Creating 38 PDF. One. So you will be provided with a Two. folder SF10 elementary PDF section. Three. You can double click this Four. so that you can be able to see the activity. Five. Six, seven, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight. Finish on thirty-eight SF ten elementary PDF files. So there you have it. All the wonderful features of K-12 CRSV8 2022 edition. Fully automated, accurate, and systematic. If you want to subscribe to my software, you can contact me in Messenger, Harold Mendoza Tendero. Thank you very much and God bless.